Hey guys, today we're going to discuss a few terminal commands that you can use to search files and directories on your system. The commands we're going to discuss today are the which, where is, locate, and find commands. So let's get started. The first command we're going to discuss is probably the simplest one of the bunch, and that is the which command. Which, you use it by typing which, W H I C H space and then the name of the program you wish to locate so for example which space Firefox hit enter and it returns slash user slash bin slash Firefox that is the location of the Firefox binary basically that is all which does if we check out the man page for which you can see it's a very very tiny man page which basically locates a command. It locates the executable binary for a program on your system, which is usually located in slash user slash bin on Linux machines. A little bit more powerful of a command would be the where is command. So if we did where is, all one word, where is space Firefox, for example, hit enter, you notice we get a little bit more information return. We get the location of the binary once again. We also get slash user slash lib slash Firefox, you know, some of the uh, libraries for Firefox, slash Etsy slash Firefox, that is uh, some of the config files for Firefox. Then we get slash user slash share slash man Firefox, that is the man page for Firefox. So let me view the man page for where it is. And at the top, you can see where it is. It locates the binary, the source, and the man page for a command. And that is basically all where it is does. Very similar to which, except it gives you a little bit more information than, than just the executable binary. So I wanted to do another where it is. For an example, where it is Thunderbird? You know, it gives, <clears throat> again, the binary, some libraries, some config locations. Then the man page. Now a bit more useful of a program to run in the command line would be locate. Locate searches for files uh, by name basically. So I can type locate space and then I'm, I'm going to type hello all lowercase and single quotes here. Locate hello. This will search my system for all file names that have hello as part of the name. And you can see I actually have uh, a few files on my system that have hello as part of their name. So that is locate. Now something I should mention, I said locate hello all lowercase. That found all file names with hello in the file name exactly as I typed it, all lowercase. You will notice that if I do locate hello all caps it returns nothing. Apparently I don't have any files on my system where the name includes hello in all caps. If you're not exactly sure of the capitalization of the files you're searching for, you can locate and then give it the I flag, dash I stands for ignore capitalization and then hello however you want to type it. It doesn't matter all caps, all lowercase, a mixture and it will find all files that include the word hello in the file name regardless of capitalization. So I will quickly show you the man page for locate. Locate, find files by name. There's a few different flags we could use. You, know, you can do a couple of things with locate, but still a pretty simple program. Again, it's just searching for files by name. And the last program we're going to discuss today is probably the most substantial of the group, and that is the find command. Let me take a look at the man page for find. Find, it searches for files in a directory hierarchy. Basically, it is a file search. And I'll scroll through the man page here to give you an idea of all the different flags and different filtering options you can do with find. It is a much more powerful command than the which, where it is, and locate commands we've already discussed. How you would use find? Well, you would use it, for example, like this, find, 
and I'm going to give it a space dot period, meaning this directory. I'm in my home directory. Dash name. I'm going to give it the dash name flag. Find files in this directory by name, and then in single quotes, I'm going to give it something to search for. How about text text? So all files that have text as part of the name, and I actually did have a few files that had text as part of their file names in my home directory. Now that searches the home directory recursively. Now if I wanted to do a different directory other than the home directory instead of this period here I could do something like you know my documents folder so find all the files in my documents folder by name that have as part of the name, I'm going to give it this asterisk, which is a wildcard character, meaning we don't really care what characters come before this asterisk, and that they end in .png, so .ping. So this is going to find all files in the documents folder that end in .png, and it's a huge list. I have a lot of ping files in my documents directory. Now let me clean up the terminal here. I, I don't know if I've showed you guys this here, but Type the, type the word clear in your terminal and hit enter and you have a fresh terminal again. So I'm going to discuss that wildcard uh, character again, the asterisk character. You can use it just as I did, you know, before a search string. You can also use it after a search string. So say I want to find all files that end in, I don't know, A, B, and then asterisk. We don't care what the file name is. As long as the first two characters are AB, we don't care what comes after AB. I doubt I have any files that start with AB, but let's hit it. Yeah, I actually had quite a few. So, so that is how you would use the wildcard characters. You can use an asterisk before and after, you know, a search string, uh, if I can type right. So in this case, any file that contains AB, we don't care what be comes before the AB or after the AB. That's going to be a gigantic list. I'm not going to hit enter on that. So what else can you do with find? Other than searching for files by name, there are other flags we could invoke, such as find, space, period. I'm just going to search this directory, my home directory. Uh, dash size. And then I'm going to give it this flag, dash 5. 5M for 5 megabytes. Now what that did is it searched for all files in my home directory that were under 5 megabytes in size. Uh, another example of that would be, let me hit the up arrow to get that last command. So find all files under 5 megabytes. If instead of minus 5 megabytes, I did plus 5 megabytes, it would find all files in my home directory over 5 megabytes in size. And there you go on that. One of the most useful ways to use find is to search by time. Uh, when you last accessed a file or when you last created a file. I don't know about you guys, but how many times have you created a new file or saved a file and you forget what you named it or where you put it uh, you have no idea where it's at. Uh, the find command is very useful for finding a file when you find yourself in that predicament. So let's say I know I accessed a file a minute ago I don't know what the name of it is I don't know where I put the file I could search for it with find space uh, I'm going to do the period again I'm going to assume it's in my home directory somewhere dash A M I N A stands for accessed M I N stands for minutes so accessed in minutes dash 2 so find a file that I've accessed in the last two minutes in my home directory alright so apparently I haven't accessed anything in my home directory in the last two minutes I could also do dash C M I N for created in the last two minutes yeah, I hit enter and that actually does return some things. It actually returns this video I'm creating right now. So if you want to search by days instead of minutes, then you would do find space. I'm going to do a period again, search my home directory. Dash 
A T I M E, A for access, T I M E time, and this time it's time and days dash two. Now this will show all the files I've accessed in the last two days. And there you go on that. Let me clear this up. And instead of dash A time, you could also do dash C time, and this would find fi all files in my home directory that I have created in the last two days. So that is the basic, uh, some of the basics of the find command. So today we discuss the which, where is, locate, and find commands that help you locate the location of programs and files on your system. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next lesson. Peace guys.